Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy X 2. So with this next little bit, I just said I would explain how to handily level up the newest dress sphere we got, the Alchemist. Because this takes a long, long while, but if you get, use the Intrepid Grid, you get around the three different zones, you get three times the AP, and basically you get three AP per every item you use. And the Alchemist has a possibility to reduce item usage on the action bar by 80%. So you can fire off items super super quickly and uh you can basically track them because you get a cap of 99 ap per battle so what you do then is you just use 33 potions or high potions and when you run out uh you then just kill the trannies and you can then run to Owaka and you get like potions for five gala pops so it's like not even that expensive and here we go so you just hold x you're going to use potions and you can even increase the speed which is what i should have done but yeah this is basically all you have to do now what i don't really show and what you kind of can't see um for the next little bit is just the fact that um the alchemist's main strength is their stash ability so they're able to just pull certain items out of thin air from their stash and basically all their different abilities in the skill tree is just better items that they have stashed away. And um, so as you can see there, Reek just learned the ether and you just pop on your high speed, use all your potions until they're all gone and that's the simplest way through it. Now. What I actually d ended up doing then was taking um, each of the girls out of the combat, so only having one girl at a time, and so you're just more you're just more easily able to like track. Okay, that's 99 uh, potions used, that's 99 high potions used. Um, so basically, since you're using 33 potions, you're then able to you know get 99 a AP per battle, and it takes roughly about two minutes to go through your 33 potions. And so you're able to go through three sets of that because you've 99 and you use 33 so you can use three sets of that with your potions three sets of that with your high potions and then um that's six sets and then you run and go buy uh that stuff from Milwaukee. so you're basically getting 600 you know uh just under 600 um ap in about 20 minutes to an hour so it really isn't that bad and since you can just do this with really weak enemies you're not like over leveling too much um but yeah i do this for about an hour or two for uh, all the girls to get all their stuff and then um all i simply do then is run upstairs get to awaka and um restock and repeat but without further ado we will just um replenish our stocks and go on into the next bit of the chapter so we have finally completely completed um all the girls stuff they have all their uh abilities for the alchemist um as they were still on the hunt for certain blue bullets we will be getting the crown in gun mage eventually and we just have to get some key items for songstress as well as pain's ultimate dress sphere uh but listen by the end of chapter five when we're getting 100 percent, we're going to have all the girls stuff done but this next bit is actually super super easy and um, it is literally just put on no encounters put on your high speed and we are just going to collect um a cutscene with news the from the youth league. Thank you. Um, for what? Surely this is the day that you will honor us by joining the youth league. What an occasion! Oh, I have long dreamed that this day would come. Sir. Well, actually, that's not why we're here. Don't worry. The youth league will give the go 
always a grand welcome. Oh, it's so funny. Like literally everyone's just like, oh my god, they're joining us. Political machinations. And you're just like, no, I don't want to get political. I just... And then, you know, what's funny here is that if you run beside the Youth League guards, they lower the encounter rate. Um, but I already have it turned off, so I'm like, move out of the way. I don't need you. Um, but literally just run your way down uh, to the ravine, down to the little... Uh, hidden cave we found in chapter one because there is a cutscene we need to watch for 100% and a collectible we need for 100% but honestly we are zooming like I think I had such performance anxiety like trying to get 100% in chapter one and just the fear of like oh god what if I miss one little thing what if I you know don't get this that or the other and I end up just not getting the 100% completion but you know what you know, this is going to be my journey towards 100%. Um, as it, I, I hopefully won't miss anything, but if I end up being human and mess up something, you know, so be it. Um, I'm not going to not play the game out of fear of, you know, striking out or huh. messing up something. Is something the matter? But this game is oh. notorious for, like, having it's you. fractions it's of percentages for certain little clips or cutscenes is supposed to um, to a that make kind you get like 99.8% and then you don't get the 100. That's but the we're that, on track so far. Well, it's not so, me. you know, that's oh. good. I know. Why don't you let the gull wings take on this mission? You'll find the other spheres? On my honor as a spear hunter. Of course, we won't do it for free. Very well. I leave it in your hands. Here, hold on to this sphere. Thanks. Perhaps this is fate. I don't think so. What does that mean, girl? So we get Crimson Sphere 7. Um, I will do this first thing next episode, but we have to watch that on the airship. Whoa. So we will watch no. that later. But it's one of those percentages that like we can get because we've collected it. So once we watch it at some point, we'll get the percentage point. Riku, I'll say this once, okay? I consider you friends and I trust you. I even respect you, all right? I would think that it'd be enough. Well, yeah, but don't you ever want to know more about your friends? Not really. Well, I do. I do want to know more about you. What for? Who cares what happened? There was something. <sighs> Come on, Payne, you can tell us. What happened? You disappoint me, Yuna. I thought you were above all that. Well, not anymore. I like asking questions. You'll lose friends. You think so? Never mind then. Oh, and I was looking forward to hearing the good stuff. Confessions of a shady past. You're a pain. Minus four respect points, Riku. Uh oh, how many points left? 47. That's not a whole lot, is it? Nope. Why don't you figure out how to get in here instead of inside my head? Well, that's really easy, Bane. We need, spheres like that one. We need to collect all of the crimson it spheres. Might open if we find them all. I kind of still want to know what happened. <laughs> <sighs> that's 46. Oh God, Rika, you're plummeting in respect, girl. But yeah, so another Crimson Sphere in our inventory. We need to like, um, you know, get all of them to um, to unlock that particular dungeon, which we need for 100%, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to cut to when we make it to the headquarters. So we've made it up to Youth League headquarters. We get to see Alma. So, is it true that once the Gullwings join the Youth League, you'll be in charge of your own division? Let me guess. Yaibo? Everyone's it talking. Uh, this story just keeps getting better and better. We just helped out the one time, really. I knew it. I thought it sounded a bit strange. I mean, you seem like the kind of person that decides things on their own and then just does whatever they plan to do. I can't picture you joining an organization or an army or anything like that. 
Do I really come across that way? Um, hello? Just as I thought. I've reprimanded Yibel for spreading such ridiculous rumors. It's highly unprofessional. Is highly yeah, unprofessional. Thank you, Lucille. Still making the pitch? Uh, no, absolutely not. I know that words alone are not enough to sway Lady Yuna's heart. The heart is not moved from without, but rather when the time is right, it moves of its own accord. So poetic, girl. Finding the place where one belongs is by nature a personal journey. Isn't Commander Lucille amazing? Such wisdom! <laughs> I learned it all from my troops. Excuse us, we have a strategy session to attend. Farewell. Come and see us again, okay? Yeah, we will definitely be back in Chapter 3, girls. Do not worry. And as is typical, we have our little respawning chest of awesomeness and awesome. Get a mithril bangle. Super duper useful. And that is pretty much it. Um, you can kind of run up to the commander tent and still not be allowed in. It is absolutely redonkulous. But that's going to be the Mushroom Rock Road done. Um, and as I say, we kind of don't really have much left in Chapter 2, really. Like, we're going to get another mission done with uh, our, our favourite... Um, stage producer slash you know um penguin man uh tobley so we're gonna meet with tobley and he's gonna make us sell uh tickets to his show and i literally was like what am i doing the safe sphere is here such a silly goof um, but that's the one thing that is handy. The fact that I'm kind of grinding all the dress gears off screen. I don't need to have random encounters on. I'm fairly well leveled. Well, I'm practically over leveled. Um, but obviously when it comes to like boss fights and stuff, it would be super cool just to be like, yeah, I have these little ideas, these different plans for the girls to have their different roles with their maxed out dresses. They can have all like the best abilities and stuff. So, you know, it will, it will be good. But we're just going to hop over now to the Moonflow and see uh, Tobley. So just give me a few seconds and we will be there. But the tickets aren't selling. We'll end up with an empty house that's like a full house with none of the people. What do you say? Will you help me sell tickets, that is? I'll cut the base price in half. Just sell, sell, sell for big, big profits. Mm, come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. With the Gullwings in charge, we'll sell out for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. And so we begin our selling of tickets. So just pick all these options. Uh, the lady with her son will um, buy for 1,000. And just pick all these different uh, things because what's nice is at the end of this mission, uh, we get the profit that we make. And you also get a bonus for actually selling all the tickets. So like you could just undersell all of them and you then lose that gill, but like you've sold all the tickets. But uh, these particular options are basically the biggest bang for your buck that also sells every ticket. So moving on to buy the shoe puff, we have this guy on the stairs and he is one five. And then the guy in the kind of green shirt just by the boundary, he actually sells for 2,000. So maximum profit there. Bring us up to a profit of 5.5 five, and then we cross with the shoe puff. Rides the shoe puff. All aboard. And yeah, do you remember in like Final Fantasy X when Yuna got on the shoe puff and then got immediately like abducted? 
love to see them. Well, I was by Riku, so that's why she's safe. But would love to see them try and take Tentu Yuna. She would just have her Glocks and like be not taking a prisoner ever again. And so we have um, big high numbers now. Um, so the two people in this map actually uh, sell for really, really good profit. So we have the little kid and we extort them uh, for 2,000. Oh, and it's like, that's my pocket money. Well, they shouldn't be given that much pocket money. Oh my goodness. And then this girl also sells for a thousand or 2,000, I should say. So like, oh my God, absolutely minted over here in the North Dock. Um, and then this guy, we have to just sell for 500. He, he just won't buy uh, it for any more. And obviously if you sell for 200, we're like losing money. So at least it's a net, you know, there's no loss to our profits. And this girl also buys for 2,000. So we've sold all of them and made a nice round 10,000 profit. So we end up getting 10,000 gil for completing it. And then we get a muscle belt for completely selling every ticket, which is great. 10 out of 10. And then we get a new garment grid for seething cauldron. So we get the profits, 10,000 gil, absolutely amazing. Then the muscle belt, absolutely amazing accessory. Like, I can't wait to get some of the good, like, heavy-hitting dress spheres. Like, as much as I love Alchemist, because it, like, has great healing. Um, yep, yep. Oh, I just can't wait for, like, Berserker and Dark Knight. It'll oh, be so, 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 so good. But another mission complete. Another, you know, box ticked in our journey to 100%. And, like, my predictions for the future, like, I'm... Th this, I'll be honest, was a big roadblock for me. Like, when I initially was like, no, I want to, like, get every dress here maxed out. I want to, like, go along, you know, as we're going. And just max every dress here as we get there. I was like, oh, chapter two is so early to, like, get the alchemist and have to, like, sit to get quad... Because like, that was the thing. It was triple nine. To earn the skill elixir, you had to get, like, nine and nine AP. Oh, look, Absolutely the insane... Wins for each of the girls there, but like we've done it. So if I've done that, you know, the rest of the dress spheres are going to be an absolute cinch. Anything goes for the great but you, really important thing to say here, you need to, need to, need to see this scene when you have none of the, you know, costumes. You need to approach it and get that scene where we're basically pitifully like going, oh my God, like let us, let us in, you stole from us. And so another little tiny scene that can be so easily missed uh, speak to Sid in the Thunder Plains and that is going to be our episode. So once that's done um, I'm gonna just warp back to the airship. So thanks for watching uh, Leave a comment on your favorite dress sphere or actually, you know in honor of the alchemist being finished What's your favorite item in all of the Final Fantasy series? And um, leave that in the comments and I will chat to you guys next time. Have a good one. Thanks so much. Bye I wonder what's wrong He's all bent out of shape because you told him off. That's mature.